Today's lesson is on how to solve equations using exponents. So looking at example one, we have this equation here. Now the exponent may not be obvious to you, but the exponent is the square root radical. Recall that the square root of x is equal to x to the one-half power where the top number represents the power on the radicand and the two represents the root or the index. Okay, so keep that in mind as we solve this equation. So as usual, whenever you solve, we undo GEMDAS. So we're gonna start by undoing, adding, and subtracting. So we're gonna draw our line and we're gonna undo the add six with subtract 6. Okay. And then we're going to undo multiplying and dividing. So we're going to undo the times negative 2 with divide by negative 2. Remember, if this is a fraction, you can also undo a fraction by multiplying by the reciprocal on both sides. Okay, next we're going to undo that exponent. Remember, this is negative x minus 4 to the 1 half power. So we're going to raise both sides to the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1 or just 2. So we're going to square both sides. Don't forget you need to square if you're um, square the negative and the 2. So the square cancels out the square root. Now once we're inside the grouping symbol, in this case, the grouping symbol that we're inside is the radical. So now we do what we undo what's on the inside. So now we start back over with undoing, adding, and subtracting. And then we undo multiplying and dividing. And so we get a solution of x equals negative 8. Now, we need to check that answer in here to make sure that it works. So plugging negative 8 in for x. So I'm going to go ahead and go down a little ways here. Let's just do it over here. So we'll go ahead and substitute the negative 8 in. So we're going to have negative, negative 8, we're going to see if it works. So when simplifying, and that's what we're going to be doing now, when simplifying, we work GEMDAS forwards. So we start inside the grouping symbol. So here we get 8 minus 4. which is 4, then exponent, so we're going to square root the 4, which is 2, and then we do the multiplication and division, so there's multiplication here, that's going to be uh, negative 4, And then we do the adding and subtracting, and we end up with a 2. That's not equal. So that means that this solution is extraneous and hence the answer would be, since that's the only solution we came up with, the solution here would be no solution.
or at least no real solution. Okay, so I went ahead and went to Desmos so that you could see why there is no solution um, for this question. So the answer we got was x equals negative 8. So that is going to be right here. x is negative 8. So if we go to the graph at x is negative 8, we get a y value of 2 right here. Can't get it to stick. So that's pretty close. So, and in our equation, remember, we had it equal to 10, which is not, does not show up on the graph at all, does not exist. So that's why not all solutions are going to um, work. So you must check your answers. Also notice um, 10 is up here. And notice the graph does not reach 10. So it's impossible for this uh, equation here to equal 10. It can only equal numbers starting here at 6 and going down. OK, let's take a look at another example. Okay, so example two, here we have negative 9x cubed equals 243. So again, when you're solving, we just work uh, gem dots backwards. So at undo adding and subtracting, none of that. Multiplying and dividing. So we're going to start by dividing by the negative 9. negative 27 okay and now to undo the cube we are going to as I stated before raise it to the reciprocal the reciprocal of 3 is 1 over 3 so those cancel 3 times 1 third is 1 so we have X equals and then the cube root of negative 27 is negative 3 and negative 3 to the first power is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 27. Okay so now let's check this answer. Let's go down here and plug it in. And we're going to get negative 9 times negative 27 equals 243. And multiplying that, we get 243 equals 243. Checks out. Good answer. Move on. Okay, next example. Here we go again. Undoing gem dots. There's no adding and subtracting to undo first. Remember, this is inside the grouping symbol. We do this last when we're solving. So then we're going to undo the multiplying. And then we're going to undo the exponent by raising it to the reciprocal power. Three-fourths times four-thirds is 12 over 12, which is 1. So cube root of 8 is 2, and 2 to the fourth power is 16. Now we're inside the grouping symbol. X equals 14. Okay, checking our answer. So we have 14 plus 2 to the 3 fourths equals 8. 14 plus 2 is 16. 
to the 3 fourths power equals 8. The fourth root of 16 is 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. And then 2 to the third power is 8. Checks out. All right. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in class.